Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafor and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate assets like cars, planes, ships along a curve. This is quite helpful because it gives you a, a very, it gives you an art directed workflow that you can just draw out parts and just tell the, the asset to move along it. You can control the speed, you can control the, time, um, the timing, you can control the direction, the rotation and everything. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. And this is like the quick animation which I just showed you guys. Um, basically, rendered in Eevee. I just plan to sh uh, also show you guys little things on how I created other stuff. That will be for later videos. But for this tutorial, let's get started. I am just going to open up the tutorial file and this is what we should have okay so we have this curve asset and everything here so we can select every the, the both stuff we need and do shift H to unhide every, um, to hide everything except the two okay and I'm going to select everything this is just a normal um, habit um, so you want to make sure you go to object, apply, rotation, and scale. Um, origin to geometry. Okay. This is a very good habit, especially when working with Blender. If you're working with, if you're making big modifica modifications to your mesh, you always want to apply the rotation and scale. Uh, if you are working with simulations, also a good work uh, practice to always apply that. Okay. So once we have it here, I'm going to shift select this and shift select this and control c copy location so if you don't have that att copy attribute menu you wa what you want to do is go to edit preference copy attribute i mean it's not really important to the tutorial but it's just a cool tip so this allows you um allows you to just quickly do a lot of quick functions okay so let's get started so now we want this object to move along the path of this so let's actually go ahead and draw our own part because this is from previous one. So I'm going to go to the add curve part. Okay. So I'm using the part instead of curve because I found that it just works better. Okay. Okay. So now we can just select each point and start manipulating it. You can delete stuff. You can use E to extrude stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So we want it to start around here, the animation, or the position of the cut to be around there. And then we can extrude it as it exits through this direction. Okay. So once you're happy with it, uh, we are good to go to the next step. But the next step is to check the normal direction. So as you can see, um, the normal direction is uh, basically this stuff. I'm going to scale it up now. Basically this display here. You can see it's going this direction, but we want it to go this direction, the other way. Uh, to bring up my... So we want it to go this way. Okay. And for that, just delete that. Give me a little bit annotation. Okay, so for that we can select everything and hit the space key and search for switch direction. So once you do that, it's going to just switch the direction automatically for you, and you're good to go. Okay, so now we can tell the cat to copy. Uh, we can just, as like I said, apply the rotation and scale. Make sure the origin is centered in geometry. And now we want to get the card to copy the location of the curve or part. Okay. So now we can go ahead and go to the object constraint. This is where the magic happens. And search for the follow path constraint. So we're going to select this constraint. Also going to check on follow curve. So once you have done that, uh, we can see it's not aligned at all. But if we move this, we can see it's working, but it's just not aligned. So we'll leave this back at zero. 
so I'm going to jump into edit mode and selecting this point this starting point I'm going to hit shift s cursor to selected selected to cursor so this can allow me to just easily move this into place and you can see it's working now so once you move it into place it works okay so um, you can see I enabled follow curve you, if you disable it what happens is it still um, moves along the curve but it doesn't copy the rotation um, but if you want to copy the rotation you can do, um, check on that if you want it to be affected by the curve radius um, so by that if you do shift s you can scale it that's sorry alt s in the edit mode so let's do a cool stuff so we'll scale it here scale it down here and we have it just cool stuff like this uh but that's not the point of this tutorial so we'll uncheck that so we just want it to follow the curve and if we play it we can see nothing is happening so if you want something to happen all you just need to do is click on animate part and you have your animation so right now you can look for kind of controls to um tweak this but you will not see because of it's located in the part itself that's where the parameters and made it is okay so let's start tweaking it so I want at this point I still want to speak to see the car so for that for that I'm going to go to selecting this part you want to go to the curve settings curve properties and sometimes this is collapsed but you will see part animation so you want to click um, the frame is how you can adjust it so if you reduce if you put give this a higher value it's slower now okay so you can be able to see the car if you want to see it some more you can scale it up and I think this is uh, animatable so you can insert keyframes and play with that yourself okay so since you guys have stayed here long enough <laughs> Um, there's a quick tip I'm going to give you now on how to add quick noise um, to your animation because now this is quite smooth and we, let's say we want to add like a very nice noise onto it so um, let's first determine, determine how we want the noise to behave so we want it to affect the location we definitely don't want to have a car moving up and down so that's a no no so we probably want it to be moving on the x-axis like this slightly so once we have determined that we can now right click insert key, single keyframe okay so we can insert that keyframe right in the front and the start of the animation and next we'll open the graph editor okay so having the x location selected we want to hit n to bring out this um, tool here and we want to switch to modifier and basically we want to add the noise and as you can see we are getting it um, starts to start like being noisy and it's not so smooth again um, so basically at this point you can go ahead and play with several things if you want it to be like very subtle you can play with that reduce the strength so you have something lower okay so if you want it to affect other parts you can do same thing insert keyframe single keyframe and here you can just copy I think this is copy paste so it's very subtle um, but you can always scale it up if you wish to see yeah so that's it guys I hope this was helpful I hope this was fun if you enjoyed this video please give the thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me please don't forget to subscribe so bye bye for now see you next time